time to read the comments of my latest video one that my girlfriend did not make an appearance in at all you know the latest video i filmed with my family uh my cousin let me read the comments oh top comment not me secretly hoping it's another jasmine and brandon video Okay, Jasmine was not in this video at all, but I guess the top comment is about her. Okay, next comment. Have Jasmine in more videos, please? Okay. Loki really wanted to see Jasmine in this? Yo, this is a video, uh, it was a video of me and my cousin. I'm, where are the comments about me and my cousin about this actual video? Can we please see more of Jasmine in the videos? Y'all are QAF. We need videos with Jasmine. Do another video with Jasmine. We want Jasmine. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Well, you guys get Jasmine. <laughs> okay, are you in the frame? I can't see your side. I think I am. Okay. <clears throat> okay. No, 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 no. Don't start for real. Guys, me and Jasmine, for some reason, we can't ever film without having like a laugh attack, but we're gonna get better, I promise. So, you guys have been spamming my comments non stop. We want Jasmine. Okay, bro, here you go. She's here. here. I'm here. But wait, can we all give a round of applause and a thank you to Jasmine? Because she's not one to like be on camera all the time. She's more private, but she's doing this for you guys. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, exp I'm waiting for you to say something. I don't want to keep talking, bro. I don't know what to say. I don't know. She's just like, she's more of a private person. When I ask her to film a video, she's not like, yes, let's do it. It's more like she's doing it for you guys so uh, i'm doing it for you guys and i'm doing it for you why are you doing it for me because i love you and i just want to make you happy i love you well i appreciate you helping me out yeah bro so i mean everybody show jasmine some love because she's not used to this so her doing this is i feel like it's nerve-wracking I don't think about it that way because I've been in front of a camera for eight years. I started my YouTube channel in 2015. Now we're in 2023. That's eight years of making videos. So for me, when I'm like filming a video, it's just natural. I turn the camera on and I just start talking and it just feels normal. But I got to remember that for people like Jasmine, who, you know, isn't in front of a camera all day for eight years, it's probably nerve wracking. But you make it easier because you're like so talkative. You just like talk, 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 talk. So it's, it's better. Just tell me. me I talk too much. You talk too much. But okay, I, like I wasn't it. serious. Don't really tell me I talk too no, much. No, you do talk too much. <laughs> I gotta remember that, you know, for some people, it's very nerve-wracking, especially when this is not a small YouTube channel, bro. You guys have built this channel to over 6 million YouTube subscribers, so that's a lot of pressure, bro. You're, there's 6 million <gasps> people. 6 million people. Don't say that. <laughs> 6 million people. Shh. Like, look at me. That's one. I'm one person. Mm -hmm. There's 6 million of me that's watching like you. That's crazy. Six million eyes are on you, okay? okay. <laughs> not, not to make you nervous or anything, but uh, okay, guys. So yeah, we okay. Read, so what are we doing? Me and Jasmine, we've been reading all the comments. We've been seeing everybody pretty much begging for videos with Jasmine. So uh, we decided why not give you one. <clears throat> so today we just pulled up to the grocery store, and you know what? I trust you talking on camera. You tell them what we're gonna oh, do today. Fuck. Okay. Hey, practice makes perfect. You're only gonna get better if you try it. So go ahead, tell them what we're doing oh. today. Okay, so today I think we're gonna cook dinner. We're gonna- You think? We had a whole plan, <laughs> fam. What do you mean you think? We already, we talked about okay, it. Okay, today we are cooking dinner, which is something we like to do on our own time off, off camera, camera yeah. so we usually do that like a couple times a week. It's fun, it's a fun date for us to do together. Like if you found out your mom was cooking it, I still love you. If you found out your mom was cooking it. Are you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? So anyways guys, today we're bringing you a video we are going to be cooking for you guys. This video is going to be fun. You'll, you'll get a chance to... <laughs> nah, because I'm not going to lie, my throat got so dry. <laughs> I be talking too much, bro. No, you talk too much. Okay, you want to date someone that doesn't talk and doesn't have a personality? There's plenty of people like that. I talk No, you have enough personalities to entertain me for the rest of my life. You want to get married for real? <laughs> Ask me. You trying to get married for real? The reason we wanted to do this video is because uh, we filmed a video prior. We filmed one video together before. That's it. There's only one video on my channel of me and Jasmine. And that was just like a sit down talking story time video. But today we want to let you guys get to know more of our personality and uh, kind of yeah. get to know like what our relationship is like because it doesn't feel like we're dating. It doesn't feel like we're boyfriend and girlfriend. It feels like we're date. I mean, we're not dating. <laughs> ah! Mm -hmm. It feels like we're besties for life. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Do 
chill with the you make it seem like it's a friend zone type thing. no okay we're we're actually best friends like yeah we're dating but at the same time we have a lot of fun with each other like she's my best friend i'm her best friend mm -hmm. so yeah we just thought it would be fun where instead of you guys seeing us in like a sit down story time talking type of video you guys are going to follow us along in the grocery store follow us along in my kitchen watch us cook we just want you guys you know to to know a little bit more about us and um get to maybe know. answer some questions too. you want to answer some juicy questions no <laughs> what you're gonna do for the video yeah okay <laughs> so i hope you guys are excited and um i'm excited should we go to the grocery store now can you tell them what we're making though we're making pasta okay. not just any pasta i made you this on valentine's day you did you cooked for it's me on valentine's pasta. day i'm gonna have a lot of pictures with you the heart for you Thank you so much. This is what? This is like marriage, like wife stuff. You cooked for me on Valentine's Day. Was that like your spell to make me fall in love? Well, I don't know because you barely ate any. No, nah, but look, it was her way of putting a spell on me because look, if you look like this, which is already beautiful, but then she was trying to show me that she could cook too, what man would not fall in love after that? So that was just your way of putting a spell on me uh -huh. to fall in love with you. I put a spell on you the first day I met you. All right, calm down. I put that same spell back. That's why you're still here. Okay, so. And let's not ever forget that I love Devin Booker more than you. Okay, and... Okay, babe, what what kind of, uh, what do you call this, what? noodles, hair, angel hair, whatever it's called, what are we getting? She's nervous being on camera. <laughs> okay, okay, are we're we gonna doing... get this. Penne. Penne? How do you say it? <laughs> Penne. Okay, what's next on your ingredient list? We need to go to the tomato sauce aisle. It's right here. Okay. Where would you be without me, honestly, bro? I have the brains. Are you smart? Yeah. Because last time I said you were smart, people were like, okay. oh, she's You know what? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. You guys are f***ed up. <laughs> I usually, usually I love my supporters. You guys know, usually I, I love last you guys. Last time I called you smart, everyone was like, she thinks he's smart. Okay, hold the camera, please. <laughs> In the only video we filmed together, she said, babe, I love you because you're cute, you're smart. She <laughs> called me smart. And I'm looking through the comments, and there were so many people that were like, Bro, she called you smart? Does she not know you? Wait, is she crazy? She just called you smart. Really? You guys, really? I thought you guys had my back. I finally met someone who thought I was smart and you guys are gonna f***ing ruin it. Now she thinks I'm dumb. I do. Please, get a Should tomato. Should I just pretend like I didn't see those comments? Yeah, just pretend you didn't read those comments. They're joking, they're pranking they're you. They're joking, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes okay, sense. what tomato? Oh my God. Prego, it's what you're gonna be in a few months. Okay, babe, so what's the next step? We need some Parmesan cheese. Okay. So we're gonna get the Parmesan So we're gonna get the Parmesan <laughs> cheese, okay. You're very smart. We needed Parmesan cheese, you got Parmesan cheese. You, you're smart, you know that? I know, smarter than you. No, chill, don't <laughs> let the comments get to your head. They were joking. Oh, we, we got onion last time. We did, should we get onion? Why? Okay, why is there purple onion, white onion? gold onion or brown gold yellow whatever the hell i thought you were smart okay okay tell record me. this okay, tell me why. you want to know why i'm smart so for this pasta and any pasta everybody makes you need purple onion i you, think it's wrong no do you know why you need purple why for the phoenix suns so we're getting purple babe oh i was just telling you devin booker scored 46 points who today. devin <laughs> What are your do. thoughts on Devin Booker scoring 46 points today? I think they need um, KD back. Hey, yo. Oh, shit. <laughs> who told, who taught you this? He hurt his ankle. He got injured. So the Suns need KD back who in order you to make it to the playoffs. Who taught you this? To the championship. <laughs> I'm falling more in love. Look, yum. Yeah, let me see your wallpaper. Be honest. Did you do that for me or for Devin Booker's jersey? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Babe. You don't understand for this relate mm -hmm. for this relationship to work you need to accept that devin booker is a part of 
our relationship. Your screensaver is cute. Should I show them mine? Yeah. I definitely was not held against my will and forced to make this my wallpaper. I never forced you. I did it. Definitely did it out of my uh, love. My own love. Did I? Okay, babe, we need the onion and the freaking... <laughs> are we ever going to make the pasta or are we just going to no, keep talking? Because, okay, cut it and then we'll get all the ingredients and we'll come back. You be talking too much, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm serious. No, nah, no, nah, for real. Okay, can you help? What do you want me to do? We're Sauce. putting the purple onion back. Okay, just say you hate the suns. Just say you hate Devin Booker. <laughs> Fan, by the way, the onion doesn't go here. This is for the yams. <laughs> it goes right here. Need... No, I dare you to get a different colored onion. <laughs> I, I dare am. you. You don't want this I relationship am. to work, get a different colored onion. Okay. I dare you. Watch. Watch how I'm going to eat this pasta. I promise you there's no difference between the white, yellow, and purple. You couldn't just let me have the purple onion for the suns. You had to step in and make a change. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is not going to work, guys. Enjoy the videos while you can. Enjoy Jasmine while you can. But So, <laughs> as my girl puts this colored onion in the cart she checks the ingredient <laughs> list online and what did you come to a realization of red onion what color red no, babe a devon booker onion let me see look at the ingredient list what color is that onion purple please follow me to the onions so i could say okay. something real quick so that's who you guys wanted so bad in the videos Somebody who can't even pick the right colored onion. Watch this. Okay, then I won't be in any videos. Okay? I don't think they would ever watch my channel anymore. <laughs> be honest, you guys don't watch for me. You guys watch for Jasmine. Here's a purple onion. Here, here's a bag. We don't, what do we need the bag for? Okay. Why does like watching you grocery shop look odd? Like it doesn't fit you. <laughs> Stop letting the comments get to your head. I'm not dumb. They were joking. They were joking. I know how to put an onion in the in the bag, bro. It's not odd. Why is it odd? <laughs> no, it's not. This is who you guys wanted in the video so bad? This? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to do? So actually, babe, before I started my YouTube channel, I used to work at Albertsons, the grocery mm -hmm. store. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back to my old roots, and I'm going to scan the items. But you have to talk to me, too. Like, how was your day? Okay, okay. okay. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, how's your day, ma'am? Good. How's good. yours? Mine is good. Thanks for asking. Did you find everything okay at the store? Mm-hmm. Do you want to go back to the house with me? And that's why I got fired from the from my old grocery store. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how to okay. do the shit that doesn't have the scanning. Look up my name. You wonder why I got fired from the place. Okay. Babe. Yeah? You have 10 seconds to name as many Phoenix Suns players as you could. Ready, set, go. Wait. Okay, okay ready, we have set, go. Booker, we have Durant, we have O'Colgi, we have uh, Aiton. Aiton, okay. Okay, we have... Okay, honestly, um, forget that. I got to say my pickup line. Guys, I made this pickup line myself. So you guys know DeAndre Aiton. Is your name DeAndre? Mm hmm Because I'm trying to f*** you, Aiton. <laughs> Was that loud? Sorry, sorry. Hey, don't let your parents watch this video, by the way. My parents are gonna watch no, it. No, for real. Hi, guys. It's a joke, obviously. No, it's it's just a pickup. It's a joke, for real. Is for it? Shit. What? It, didn't your parents say they hear like noises coming from your room? Yeah, an earthquake because we live in California. <laughs> Not anything else. Okay, guys, so we have all of our ingredients set up over here. We're cooking vodka pasta. We're cooking vodka pasta minus the vodka so that this video does not get demonetized. First, let's boil the water. And then, if you want to start like cutting these. <laughs> she must think she's dating a chef. Um, help me out, please, bro. Please. This is on you. Come on. I That's know why I eat out. Nah. We just started dating. I can't have her think I'm dumb. What do I do with this? No, nah, for real. Be honest. You so bite I, it. You bite it. I bite it? Yeah, yeah. Are you lying to me or no? No, no. Trust me. She'll be like, dang, you know how to cook. She'll think I'm cool if I Yeah, yeah. It. Go, go, go. <laughs> Ugh. Babe, give me a kiss. Ew. Ew, that actually smells bad. Why'd you tell me to buy it, fam? You said she was gonna love it. Okay, anyways. Oh wait, do you wait in honors? Do you want to put the salt? Can you explain to them why I have to put the salt? Well, when I cooked it for you on Valentine's Day, you added way too much salt to let's. Okay, can you tell me when to stop? Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. She goes, oh, oh, but did she ever say stop? <laughs> okay, anyways, back to cutting the onion. Bro, my breath. Hey, yo, I need... <sighs> here, here. Is this going to take the effect of the onion? 
Okay. You set me up, bro. You behind the camera. <laughs> okay. Um, we peel this first, right, babe? Yeah. Okay, so as you can tell over here, Jasmine is in charge of the... What are you doing, babe? I'm boiling the water and then I'm gonna start sauteing the veggies after you cut them. I'm gonna cut the onion and, um, babe, just spice things up a little bit. And then I'll help you peel the garlic. Okay. With what? Oh. Let me show you What did you just do, bro? Do this, and you press it down, and then it, like, cracks it, so it's easier to peel. <laughs> No. Okay, anyways, babe, so I have an idea. Instead of them just watching us cut onions and, and yeah, yeah, smash yeah. garlic, whatever, how about to make things a little bit more interesting? We should answer some, some spicy relationship questions while we cook so they could get to know I us see. a little bit better. Okay, okay. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay, babe, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know much wait, about wait. this shit, bro. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. No, 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 babe. Mm -hmm. You're dating a real man. Let me show you I know how to do it. I'll just let her do it so she, she, she feels cool. <laughs> so before we get into the extremely spicy questions, let's start off with something easy. Okay. How old are we? I am... <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't put... It's like a microphone. How old are you? <laughs> okay, how, a lot of people ask, babe, how old are you? I am 24. And I am 27, so. Basically 50. We're three years. <laughs> she always comes at me. You're so old. You're like a dad. We're three years apart. What do you, like, you act like it's my fault I'm three years older. I didn't control the day my mom and dad decided to go in the room and do the dirty. And add a body. My, I didn't decide the day my dad added to his body count. That yeah. wasn't me. It's not my fault I was born in 1995 and you were born in 1998. So yeah, I'm 27. She's 24. Okay. Okay, next question. How long have we been? Talking slash dating. Let's see if you know the answer. Okay, so talking was since November, so four months. But, but was it talking? <sighs> I mean, I was talking to you. You just weren't responding to my messages. So, so okay. I met you and started sliding in your DMs in November. So yeah. four months ago. But we didn't go on our first date until Christmas Eve, December 24th. So three months. So technically we've been dating for three months. Dating for three months. I yeah, would say. dating for three months. And how has it been? <laughs> my life is Wait, can you look at how he's cutting this onion? Like, <laughs> what is this? It's because I'm honestly nervous for what questions you're going to ask. I thought I was going to ask the questions. And then she starts with, next question. How long have we been dating? Okay. Yeah, so how do you feel? I feel good. I'm happier. A lot of people notice that you are happier. What are we doing with the pasta box? You want to pour it in? Sure. So it looks like you're doing something? Yeah, okay. How I feel ever since we started dating? I mean, how do I feel? Since we started dating, okay. I'd say I'm definitely happier in my life ever since we started dating. Um, I catch myself smiling more. I have a lot more fun in my life. You came to the gym with me the other day and a lot of my gym friends, what did they tell you? They said that you look like a happier guy. But a lot of people notice, they say that I have like a certain like glow. Like a glow, he's happier, he's nicer. Yeah, I'm just I'm just happier ever since you and I started dating, yeah. so. That's good, I'm glad. Yeah, what I'm about you? I, <laughs> <laughs> I am really happy with you. I have a lot of fun with you. I like that we what we do in our everyday life is stuff I can see forever. Like we go to the gym together, we like to cook together, we watch movies together, I watch your basketball with you. Babe, am I supposed to Stir this, bro? Yeah, yeah. We're getting caught up in the questions. We're about to burn the pasta. With the fork or the spoon? That one, this one. This? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, I have a good question next. Okay, next question. I have a good one, babe, honestly. So, what is your favorite thing about me physically? Okay, we'll start with that. We'll okay, start with physically? that. physically? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, physically, like, the first thing I really love when I look at your face is your eyes. That's, like, the number one thing I love. Your eyes, your eye color, and then your eye- Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! The pasta! Okay, the pasta got- got- uh, he exploded. He exploded. Okay, I was okay. gonna say something stupid, but- <laughs> But, I'm just gonna say it. He got turned on and he exploded. Whatever. It wasn't even that funny. I don't know why I said it. Sorry, sorry. We got sidetracked. Your eyes, and your eye color, and your eyelashes. That's like my number one thing I love about you. And, but my, my second favorite thing is I like this mole on his face. 
That's my favorite. You know, I didn't even know I had a mole here until I started dating her and she goes, I love that mole on your face. And I I'm said like, it over text message. I literally had to go in the mirror and be like, wait, I have a mole on my face? She does this thing. It's actually really cute. She has three favorite parts on my face. Mole, mole, dimple, lips. <laughs> okay, four. That's my favorite thing. Okay. I like to kiss all the places I love. Okay, hold on, babe. I said, what's your one favorite thing physically about me? You said eyes, eye color, eyelash, mole, dimple, lip. So, so what's your favorite thing about me? My favorite thing physically. Let me see. Turn around. I definitely have a favorite thing physically. My favorite thing physically about you mm -hmm. is your eyes. Because they're That's like, they're... Answer. Yeah, but they're like, they're big. Like your eyes are big. It's like when I'm talking to her, it's like, it's like pretty eyes. You know what I mean? Like they're very big and it's like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, they just look at you, but they're cute. They're hot. They're hot. I like your eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, also, wait, wait, wait. What do I always say? Your hair with the two strings. Oh, okay, so guys, he only, 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 only likes me when my hair is like this. Every time I have my hair down, he's like, mm, did you bring your clip? When she has these two strings. Strings. He calls them strings. The two strings. There's just something different about it. So yeah, I'd say your eyes and then the two strings. By the way, babe, I feel like I'm not contributing to this pasta at all. I just keep stirring the same thing over and over. Oh, make sure it's uh like you have to try it and see if it's done like, try it this is boiling hot what do you want me to do burn my room <laughs> okay well first of all i appreciate the work you're doing with the uh garlic and onion you've made a lot more progress than i did when i was trying to do it mm -hmm. but hold on the pot is uh, about to overheat again okay favorite thing about you oh, i did the fourth mm. one but first let me put this in okay okay so that way i can it can start okay Okay, so before we move on to the next question, which by the way, I hope you guys are enjoying getting to know our relationship a little bit more because like I said earlier, that first video we filmed together was just a sit down story time. So I, I hope today you're, what, what are we doing fam? You didn't even explain to the camera. We're, okay, we're adding the sauce. We're adding the sauce. So I hope today in this video, you guys are enjoying getting to know us a little bit better and getting to know Jasmine's personality a little bit more because that's what you guys have wanted. Okay, babe, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm, I feel like that person that's in the group that does absolutely nothing for the group project and oh still gets Oh my God, a. I hated those people. Exactly, so I want to contribute. And what should I do? And then you take all the credit after. Okay, so what should I do so I can contribute? Okay, right. So just get a little bit of pasta water. Get okay. Pasta water? Of get pasta water, okay, without the pasta noodle. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there's some noodles in here. Okay, shit. This is hot, fam. <laughs> I got it. Wait, I'm joking. You want me to actually try? You want me to try to get it without the yeah, noodles? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So garlic. Okay. I mean, what's two noodles gonna do? <laughs> there's oh no water. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, my <laughs> burn. What's the next question? Oh, What's the next question? I'm over this shit. So we're adding crushed red peppers. So babe, we're going for more of a some, spicy. We're gonna add some cream. It's gonna turn it, oh, let's change the color. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yeah? I'm extremely lucky. I have a girl that looks as beautiful as this, but also knows how to cook. That's a W, bro. That's a big time W, so. <laughs> That's when the kiss is supposed to come from you when I compliment you and you're supposed to kiss me. Oh, you opened it. I opened it. See, this is why I love you. you I do the cooking and you do the opening. <laughs> oh, go for Dennis. Go for Dennis. <laughs> I, 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 I really feel bad for Dennis because he thought me getting a girlfriend was gonna stop me from bothering you. He doesn't know. I'm still gonna try to sleep yeah, in my bed. Yeah, you don't have limits. It's not like, oh, I got it now, I'm good. No, you still do I'm it. never satisfied. I got a girl, I'm still gonna sleep in your bed. No, you're not. I got a girl, I'm still gonna kiss you on the No, you're not. I feel, babe, we have to record it. <laughs> Okay, so we're adding the crushed, we're adding the crushed red pepper, making this pasta a little spicy. And but now, I, look at us. Yeah, <laughs> I won't. Behind the camera. Yeah, look at us. <laughs> Give me a kiss, babe. You think that's gonna stop me from coming for you, right? But I feel bad for you. I gotta go and I still come after you. Leave me alone, please. Stop! Okay, babe. Okay, do you have a strainer? I, so a strainer? strainer? <laughs> what is that, where you pour the, the shit? Do we have one, Dennis? <laughs> Uh, babe, what's the next question? What's oh. the next question? Guys, we're getting carried away. I think I'm pretty sure we have a strainer. Um, 
Okay. Why do I ask you? Oh, I found one. You found one? How do you know about this house more than I know about this house? Okay, guys, it's time for me to pour this in the straightener so it looks like I'm doing you something. Is it a straightener? Straightener. <laughs> huh? Straightener. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> Wait, what are you calling I'm it? I'm not scared. I'll put this on your head. You know that, right? Wait, why are you calling it a straightener? Straightener. Straightener? Straightener. Strainer. Strainer. Yeah. Straightener. Nah, I was thinking of hair straightener. Okay, so should I pour this in here? The least I can do is at least pour this in the straight strainer so it looks like I'm doing something. Ooh. So, um. God. Bro, it's so much smoke. It looks like I'm in Dennis's room. Okay, babe, uh, I think we forgot we were supposed to be answering questions. Now, guys, the sauce is ready, and now the next step is to what? Pour the noodles in the sauce. So, I'm gonna take the noodles that we have over here and just dump them in, babe. Mm -hmm. Please don't splash on me. Okay, and then can you give me the thing to stir it with, babe? <laughs> and can I ask, oh, it's right here. Do I do it with the fork or the spoon? No, the spoon. Now can I ask, what was the point of saving the pasta water? Well, we're gonna put a little bit in. Put a little bit of this in there. Yeah, I'll put it. You, you don't know your, what to do Your with measurements are bad. We'll just put a little bit. Okay, now what's the point of not putting all that and keeping that? We what are we gonna do, drink that? <laughs> Sorry guys, she doesn't know what she's doing when it comes to cooking. We're gonna add cheese and salt in there. Oh! Uh, Mix it. Babe, no, okay, here, I'll, <laughs> no, babe. <laughs> Nah, because then people are going to say I didn't do anything. I think they're already going to say that regardless. Uh -huh. But anyways, next question. Are you ready? So we've been on a few dates. What was your favorite date that we went on? Yes. Um, okay. my oh, oh, you first? Who's do you wanna, first? Wait, do you want to answer? I think our favorite date, I feel like it's the I same one. I feel like one. it might be the same. Both Should we both us? say it? Okay, one, okay. two, three. Date three. number three. Uh -huh. Yeah, three. Three was my favorite date ever. So that was my favorite date because it had the most thought. So should we explain to them what they number Yeah, so is? we'll show some pictures on the screen. <laughs> this is how we're starting 2023 <laughs> with a date to Kate session. Hold on. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we could get in trouble for this. We've been married for 20 years. Wait. Oh wait, I got the wrong one. It's what? supposed to say worse. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it this guy looks cool. so pretty. Wait, let me show them. <laughs> he asked me pretty much what was my dream date, and then I said my dream date is to go to a park, have a picnic, read a book, look at a nice view, and that's exactly what we did. So I was in Arizona. I was filming a video. Pepper. Hey, she knows now. <laughs> so I was in Arizona, I was filming a video for the Suns and I was away from Jasmine. She lives in San Diego, obviously. And so I had asked her, I'm like, okay, when I come back to San Diego, I wanna take you on a date. What's what's your ideal date? What's your dream date? And she said, picnic. <laughs> she says I repeat myself a lot. You do, I literally just explained. Guess what? You asked you, me for my You dream said it, day. not me, so I didn't repeat myself. She told me her dream date was a picnic, reading a book, nice view, going to the park. Yeah, not like anything too crazy, because like I feel like you can't really talk and get to know each other, so that was a good way for us to like really get to know each other. And then after, we went to get ice cream. And, oh, and on, then I he, didn't even talk about my wait, date. And then he got us like little cards that say best husband and best wife ever. When she was telling me that that was her dream date, I'm not gonna lie, I fell more in love with her because nowadays, like in 2023, when you ask a girl what your dream date is, like a lot of girls answer with like a super expensive dinner or like just something very materialistic, very pricey, very bougie, just for like, so that they could flex or that they could post it on like their Instagram. So when I asked her what her dream date was, when she answered with what she answered, sorry, I'm gonna repeat myself again. <laughs> the picnic, the park, read a book, set up a blanket and just watch a nice view. I was like, bro, <clears throat> what? Like that's crazy. It so was then the I, best day ever. Yeah, so I came back from Arizona, came to San Diego, picked her up and I had, in my car, I had blankets, pillows. I got us Lunchables too. Lunchables, Remember? you got me flowers. I got you flowers too. And um, yeah, we went to the park. We watched the sunset. 
Bro, another thing that like made me fall in love with you more is when you were reading. Like she had a book and she was reading and I'm like, bro, girls like this still exist? What? Like she's reading a book? Like, bro, is this like, is this my dream girl? Like where, I didn't know they still made like sophisticated girls who like to sit at a park and read. Like over here, you have a girl that just wanted to sit at a park and read a book. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, and yeah, and talk and get to know each other. Like, Cause that's what I care about. Like, yeah, we can go to these nice fancy dinners and stuff, but like, I don't know. I feel like that's like very materialistic and like, yeah, it's fun. But I think when you're trying to get to know someone, like that's the best. That's what really attracted me to you at first was how you weren't materialistic at all. And you had fun doing the simplest things, like just going to a park. <laughs> Wait, we're done. So let's try it. Oh, the pasta's done? Yeah, that's it. Add that and then let's add some basil. I'll put it, I'll put it. So I can say <laughs> I did something, please bro, please. Oh, yo, this actually looks really good. Can you get a close up? Okay. Oh, I have a good question. Okay, was there a specific moment in time that you knew I was the one or you knew you were in love with me? Um, like I think when we first started talking and when I first was like sliding in your DMs, obviously I didn't know you too well. I didn't know your personality. So I'm gonna just be honest. That was because of your looks. You look beautiful. That's what attracted me to you in the first place. So I can't say I was in love with you or like I knew that you were gonna be the one. Mm -hmm. Obviously I was interested because of your looks, but if there was a moment that made me find out you were the one for me. So was there like a specific moment or is just like over time you grew to like love me? I think these specific moment was the date that we just talked about when I asked you what your dream date was and in my head I'm like okay should I be ready to like drop a check like are we gonna go to like on like a vacation or something like I literally let her pick any date she wanted to go to and when she said that she just wanted to go to a little park and have a picnic and watch the sunset I'm like okay like she might be the one I, I think oh Oh, sorry, no. Okay, that was a big reason of, you know, why I really fell for you and stuff. But if there was a specific moment in time where I knew is the first time you spent the night at my house. Uh -huh. You slept on my oh, bed. Yeah, yeah. And where did I sleep? The floor. And he slept on the floor for a long, long time. I would sleep on the floor and she would sleep on the bed. We wouldn't even sleep in the same bed before when we first started dating. Mm -mm. That's when I knew, I'm like, okay. Like I said, I didn't think girls like her existed still because... Sorry, I'm not trying to like <laughs> say anything, but girls nowadays is like, I don't know, you just meet them and they're in your bed. Like, not me, not me personally. I'm saying like people I know. No, <laughs> I'm saying like other, like my friends, they be telling me stories and shit. They'll like meet a girl and just, just like right away, yeah. like whatever. They'll either go to a hotel room or go in your bed, whatever, easy. So the first time she spent the night in my house and I'm sleeping on the floor of, your own house. of my own house. Don't get me wrong, she offered me like, you could sleep on the bed, I'll sleep on the floor. But I was being a gentleman, I'm like, no, no, you could have my bed, I'll sleep on the floor. But just the fact that we didn't sleep in the same bed together, I was like, yeah. I was like And it Yo. wasn't just the first time, it was a couple times it was. after that. Like, oh my god, one day, do you know how we slept? You were on the bed, I was on the floor, and we were holding hands. Oh yeah, we were holding hands, falling <laughs> We slept with me on the floor, you on the bed, so I think... I feel like the same for you too, like when you offered to sleep on the floor, it just showed like what type of guy you were, and that you were actually trying to take me serious. So yeah, I think the, the one moment that made me find out she was the one is when she had me sleeping on the floor when we first started dating, so. But another reason, Go the ahead. day I told you I love you, I knew I was in love with you because that was the first time I met your parents and like actually sat down and talked with them. And I feel like that was a moment I knew I really was in love with you. But I loved you because I like how you are with your family. I like that you're a family guy and I like that you're close with your family. To me, that's something that's so important and that's something I look for. So you're saying the first time you <coughs> saw me like interact with my parents? Was, yeah. Okay. And I could see myself like being a part of your family. Like you already I love are, your my parents, mom loves you. I love your cousins. I love literally everyone. Speaking of my mom and dad. Okay, okay. We're going to try the pasta first and then we're going to call my mom and dad down here to try yes. our cooking. I'm not going to lie. You put a lot of salt in the noodles. Hold on. I was in charge of one thing. Brandon, just put the salt in the pasta water. And if it tastes bad, I'm getting the blame. You <laughs> did the onions, the garlic, the, the bacon, basil, whatever the hell it is, the red pepper. But if it goes wrong and it tastes bad, I'm the blame. I did one thing, fam. One <laughs> thing I did all night. Finally, I'm... you admit it. So did, who cooked the pasta? 
me. First of all, this actually looks really good and it smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it. Wait, Dennis, real quick before we try it, can we get a close up on the how it looks? The pasta actually looks really, really good. Look at, okay, why does yours look better than mine? Hers looks a lot better. You got some basil. I feel like girls care about presentation a little bit more. Yeah. She got some basil, some cheese. Babe, mm -hmm. we did a good job cooking this. We did a good job cooking this. Chill. If it's good, me, and then if it's bad, you did a good job. Oh, okay. Go. It's good. I like it. It actually is really, it really is good. good. Obviously, I don't bring just anybody around my parents. If I'm bringing you to meet my parents, that's like a big deal. Some guys out there don't care. Any girl they're talking to, any girl they're dating, they'll let them meet their parents. For me, in my culture, you will not ever meet my parents. You will not talk to my mom or dad unless I see you as a girl that... You see a future with. I see a future with a girl that could potentially be my wife and a girl that is really special to me. I told you I wanted you to meet my parents. Mm -hmm. Were you like, were you nervous the day? I, I won't forget it. Me and you, we were in the car and we were driving to my house and my parents were waiting for you over here. Were you nervous to meet my parents? Cause like I said, there have not been many girls that have been able to meet my mom and dad. So what, what were you feeling oh like? <clears throat> I was so nervous. No, I was so nervous. I remember um, they were both, like both of his parents were sitting in my the kitchen. My mom interviewed you. This she was no, like... yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Both parents were sitting in the kitchen and then I walk through the door and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. And then I walk in and then she's like, it's time for your interview. Dude. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so what's the secret Man. to 30 years of marriage? Not talking. Not, not talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, see, yeah. me. No, no. I don't know. You just get a one. You get used to them. Oh and gosh. babe, I remember on the way to my house, you were like, "Is she gonna interview me?" Like, oh, what? yeah, and you were like, "No." I literally. She's chill. Like, she's not gonna interview you. No. As soon as I walked in, she was like, "Okay, like, sit down. Let's. I'm gonna interview you." No. Both of his parents were asking me, like, "How do you feel about like?" This, how do you feel about this? Like, I will say though, I wasn't lying to you. Are I, you ready for marriage? They asked. I wasn't expecting my mom to give you a full interview, but we walk in, my mom is freaking, dude, my mom is sitting right here and I don't worry, I secretly recorded some videos that I'll throw up on the screen. Oh, you can deal with kids. Mm -hmm. I love kids. But my mom was right here and she told Jasmine to take a seat over here. <laughs> It was literally like a face-to-face -face interview and that's when I knew, I was like, yo, my mom is like, she's ready to be a grandma. Like my mom always jokes with me like, Brandon, you're 27, when are you gonna get married? And I always thought it was like a joke, like whatever, she was just like making jokes with me. No, when I brought a girl home and I saw how serious my mom was, I was like, yo, Mama Rug is usually chill and you know, just laughing and joking all the time. When I saw how serious she was with you, mm -hmm. I was like, yo, my mom is ready for her son to get married. My mom wants to be a grandma. She wants me to have kids. Like, no, she asked me all those questions. How did you feel when it's your first time meeting my mom? And one of the first questions she asked you is, how do you feel about having kids? What do you think about kids? Oh, you can deal with kids. Mm -hmm. I love kids. But I mean, it wasn't like, obviously I was terrified to meet them, but the questions didn't really scare me. Cause like, I do love kids. I used to work at an elementary school. So like kids to me are like a usual topic and I like kids. So I mean, that, that wasn't any like scary question for me. Dude, when I, I was sitting right here, I was right here while they were doing the interview right over there. Those two chairs over there. When I heard my mom bring up kids, in my head, I was like, mom, chill. <laughs> we barely started talking, dating, and we're bringing up kids like, bro, I don't know. But speaking of my parents, we've tried this pasta. I'm gonna be honest, I rated a 10 out of 10. You did a very good job, 10 babe. 10 out of 10, good job. It's really good. Um, Teamwork. Yeah, speaking of my parents, I think it's time to call them down and uh, let them try this pasta, so. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. Hi. Hi, Mom, hi, Dad. We made you guys pasta. No way. I'm not gonna lie, Jasmine did a lot of the work, but I put the salt in the water though. Mm -hmm. You know, I smelled it all the way to the room. Really? Yeah. Smell garlic. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got Papa Rugs plate, but we gotta add the finishing touches. Jasmine with the Parmesan cheese and the basil, okay. We were just talking about how um, our interaction was when I first met you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> and how you how like, interviewed her. Yeah. yeah, but how nervous were you? I was so nervous. Were you? Mom, yeah. can I ask you real quick? Yes. What was going on through your head to meet my girlfriend for the first time and ask her about kids and marriage? and? I wanted to make her comfortable. 
So I just go into <laughs> everything. She went in for the kill. Kill, yeah. Hey, I, I don't start easy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Wow, looks good. Taste test, no pressure. <laughs> but if you guys don't think it's good, we're never cooking for you guys again. And, uh, we're gonna give you an honest opinion. Yeah, okay. we want Nothing honesty. Okay. Cause Cause big bite. Because I'm gonna cook for you forever. Oh, my dad got a big bite. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Really? Mm, go. Why don't cook like this? <laughs> oh! Okay, hold on. Not a bad way. I mean, I just. Mm -hmm. Dude, is that bad? Babe, we brought them down for a taste test and they're leaving in an argument. Okay, okay. Dad, please. All right. I, I, I just, haven't okay. got over the first video. Now you <laughs> No, for real, Jasmine, Brandon, this is the best pasta. Thank you. It's like moist. Tastes good. It's really good. Like Italiano, 100%. Has a little yeah. spice too, right? Mm -hmm. Spice makes it good. Mm. This is amazing. Okay. Brandon, I can't believe like you stopped cooking like this. Oh, I mean, like I said, I, I would love to take a lot of the credit, but uh, it's no, mostly no. right here. Before we close this video out and I let you guys go to sleep, me and Jasmine have a question for you guys. Okay. So how long have you guys been married? 30 years. 30 years, well, okay. At least he knows that. Me and Jasmine have been dating for, for three, three months. months. So obviously we look up to a relationship like this, you know, this is uh -oh. this is what people like to call gold. Uh -oh. 30 years of marriage is something we could only dream of. So we want to ask, do you have any tips or as you like to call what's it, a se secret? secret. Yeah, to what's, a happy marriage. what's the secret to a happy marriage that lasts 30 years and, and, and forever, more yeah. and what? forever? Love. Oh, is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> Tips to a to a healthy, long-lasting marriage. Mm -hmm. Love. We patient, know. patient. Don't mm -hmm. talk a lot. Oh, that's impossible. Patient. Well, then I think I think we should just break up right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Dad, I, I heard you make a little comment about how are you still alive? Can you oh, def well, like no. explain what you meant by that? I mean, thirty years <laughs> with her. He said that, not me. <laughs> Hey, 30 years and we're still here, right? You know what? It's the best 30 years of our life. Yeah. For real. Okay. And I won't ask the for anything years. else beside another 30 years. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's good, yeah. that's good advice. Thank you guys. How about uh, real quick? Sorry. Last thing before ending it. Mm -hmm. Mom, dad, you guys know I'm a handful. I I'm honest. I know it's not easy to date somebody like me. I'm full of energy. I'm a little crazy more like psycho joe goldberg <laughs> yeah joe goldberg status i know i'm not easy to deal with so mom dad yeah. any tips for jasmine to you know handle deal, you. handle <laughs> handle somebody like me I okay think. for me no, nothing because he's good this guy he have heart of gold for real he have so much love in his heart for everyone he's a good person nice handsome Smart. I mean, for real. It's yeah. Smart. 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 Yeah. She everything. wasn't forced to say everything. that. Everything. No, no. You were everything and more. Thank yeah. you. So. My wingman, wingwoman. I think the best thing is to just like learn to understand you. Because when I understand you, then oh, everything yeah. just comes up easy after that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I Dad? can see you could. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah um, you need to learn about Brandon a lot. Like, I mean, I don't know how to say this. Brandon is, he's good. I mean, he's good, good person, but uh, take care of my son. <laughs> no, no that's, like, that's like cute. You know how they say, yeah, like, yeah. because Thank he yeah. deserved the best. Oh, yeah. So I really hope does. you're the best. Wait, yeah. wait, I thought sure. this is about the pasta. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. we can't have a sentimental moment without my dad bringing up the pasta. <laughs> Dad, thank you. I love you and I love uh, you too. Yeah. I love you guys. Thank I'm you in, for giving uh, birth to him. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in good hands. You guys see how happy I've yes. been the last couple months. So. I, I can tell for yeah. you, and that's all matters oh, because okay. your IQ is high. Yeah, yeah. No, body count, body count. Chill. <laughs> what are you, what are no, you no, saying? No. Sorry, guy? I don't know. Okay, anyways, yo, that's a perfect, perfect sign to end this video and get my parents back in the room before yeah. Jasmine leaves. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. You guys finally got what you've been begging for, which is a video with Jasmine. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Comment down below what you think because I feel like this was the first video where we really opened up to you guys about our relationship and you guys got to see us in a different setting other than just sitting in a chair in yeah, my room. Yeah. So yeah. let me know what you guys think. And other than that, it has been your boy, Brandon, AKA Brawadis. Mama Rug. <coughs> Cook more for us. <laughs> Papa Rug. Jasmine. Bye guys. Bye. Peace. <laughs>
we ended the video. Now you can actually breathe because the video's done. <laughs> so scary. You did good though. You shouldn't be nervous. No, I swear. Well, I, it's not that I'm nervous. I was just stressed. Oh, Jasmine, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm just oh, for you. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's so love sweet. You know. Okay, you can marry her now. <laughs> Wait, okay. I love your I mom agree. more than I love you. I swear. I know you do. You probably <laughs> love my dog more before. than you love me. I do. Yeah. I do. I do. How lucky am I? I have a girl who cooks good, is beautiful, Clean. She washes the dishes so that my mom can relax and gets along with my mom. Aww. Life is good, you know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> Aww. I love you too. I mean, she's as perfect as it gets. Look at this. Uh, mm. <laughs> That's enough. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah. Wait, no, you say it. I'm not gonna say it. No, you say what? it. Babe. No, what? she said something. Okay, say it. Say it. Wait, but I thought you wanted to be a grandma. Oh, how do you, you think, know when? How do you, how do you think, think it happened? Oh, the birth comes. Hey, go what? Okay, okay, we're done for real. We're okay. done. We're done. <laughs>